You ready? So we're gonna go get coffee. California. We're gonna go get some in and out. Why would you why would you do this? Go get some in and out, bro. That's literally not how we talk. That's how we that's actually how we talk. In and out, bro. <laughs> bro, let's go get some uh, Oh hey, good morning. We are headed up to a little coffee shop up here. Ryland decided to tag along. And we're uh, just gonna grab some coffee before Winston heads back up to San Francisco. Uh, and today is the 4th of July, and a lot of people have the 4th of July off. And technically, Christiana and I also have the 4th of July off. But we're just gonna be lying around the house anyway, so we figured we might as well, you know, do something. So we're actually gonna work today. And then I think later on, I think the family might come over and we'll like make some burger or something. Kay and I aren't really like day, like the holiday people. So it's just a, you know, it's just a Monday with less people out, apparently. What? You can do it. What the? You were climbing right there? Show me your Okay. How's it going? Have a good trip. You have a good trip. Enjoy, enjoy your hike at Pinnacles. Thanks, I will. And awesome there's place. your shirt. Welcome to July 4th. Work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, drive safe, man, and I'll see you someday. Love Come you. visit me in Ireland. I will. Nah, probably not. Oh, okay. So today is the 4th of July. For some people in the world, that means that it's Independence Day. I don't know why I did this. For some people in the world, it, that means that it's Independence Day. For others in the world, it means that it's like the day after the 3rd of July and it has no significance. This day has some significance for me, and not necessarily because it's the day that America celebrates its independence, but because last year, on this day, on 2015, July 4th, was the first day that I ever got into a car accident. So on July 3rd of last year, a buddy of mine named Sean got married. He got married up in Roseburg, Oregon, which is fairly north, it's up, it's up north of me. Now Roseburg, as, as it is normally from my house, is about a 10 hour drive. On this particular trip, I decided that I was going to road trip up and because of that I was like, well I could spend 10 hours in the car by myself or I could invite a friend of mine and we could make it like a cool road trip together. So I invited a friend of mine named Andrew, and I said, hey Andrew, I'm gonna take a trip up to Oregon. Would you like to come with me to this wedding? And he said, I don't know the people, but it sounds like fun, let's do that. One of the stipulations of Andrew coming with me was that we were gonna stop by a certain beach at the very top of California. There was like this campground there that he had seen in magazines and he really liked the look of it. So I said, yeah, let's go stop by that. Let's do that, no problem. We left July 2nd at about 6 a.m. in the morning. We decided we wanted to get a, a head start, and then if we got there early to the beach, we could hang out, we could spend the night there, finish the drive on the 3rd, and then drive to Roseburg for the wedding. The problem is, once we got past San Francisco, I took a left when I wasn't supposed to take a left, and neither of us were looking at our maps on our phones. And the day that should have been less than an eight hour journey ended up becoming a 21 hour nightmare. So this right here is the route. I live right down here, this is home, right there. And here's Roseburg, okay? The beach that we wanted to go to was somewhere right here. It's called Gold Bluffs Campground or something like that. See how right here there's like this green patch of woods? It's like this giant forest. We wanted to get up to the coast, up this way, and the way that you do that is by going on this other route. See this right here, this is Highway 101. So I had remembered, turn left instead of going up. And for whatever reason, I wasn't using Google Maps. I don't know why, I don't know why he wasn't, whatever. We actually get onto the Pacific Coast Highway, Highway 1, which is a very slow, windy drive. It's like really scenic but you don't get anywhere fast. And after we had been driving on this one road for about three or four hours, we, we start to panic and realize we're actually no closer to our destination than we were four hours ago. So we get back onto Highway 101, we get up to the beach at 11 o'clock at night. 
We get there super late because we've taken all of these wrong turns. We've got super mad at each other. It's like really funny and then it's not funny. And then any so anyways, we get up there and then we're like, might as well just keep on going to Oregon. We end up in Grants Pass, Oregon at about three o'clock in the morning after leaving at 6 a.m. So that's like, that's what, 20, 21, 20, 21 hours in the car. We realized later, I found out, that if we had driven up the main freeway and just kept going north, we would have been in Whistler, Canada in 21 hours. So that was July 2nd. July 3rd we, was the wedding and we spent the night there. And then early on July 4th, we started driving back south. At this point, you know, it's like this crazy road trip. We're so tired, we're worn out. We're having a good time, but it's just like we're, we're pretty much done because it was like way longer. We hadn't, we hadn't gone to the beach that he wanted to go to. It was ridiculous. Then we get to Ashland, Oregon. Now in Ashland, Ashland is right across the border from Oregon and California. So let's say this is Oregon, looks just like that. And then the banana here is California. Ashland is like right, right there. Okay, so here's freeway, coming on down, there's the border. It looks it just just like that. We were heading down. We were just outside of the Californian border and we were driving down this hill kind of went like this There was a bridge down here So let's say this is us so we're driving down this road. We're about to turn everything like that. We're going It's fine all of a sudden I'm driving and I look over and there's something heading my direction this guy right here is like a 19 year old kid had fallen asleep at the wheel. I look over and he comes plowing into the side of my car. We both kind of swerve. I can't do this really with one hand, but we kind of go oh, like that. I pull over to the side of the road and this guy takes off. So here's the original paper. So, ah, so he hits us here. So he swerves over, impact. We stop and pull over, but dude keeps going around the bend and we're like, oh my gosh, this was a hit and run. This is crazy, we're, what just happened? So we pull down around the corner this guy's pulled off to the side of the road, and so we pull over, I get out of the car, I'm like, hey, are you okay? Turns out to be this kid, he's like 18 years old. He had just recently bought this car, it was like kind of an older Saturn, and he's like shaking and he's super scared. He thought like we were gonna beat him up or something, and I was just like, hey, are you okay? Everything's fine, everybody's safe, that's all that matters. We call the, we, you know, we wanna get a statement for the insurance, so we call up the state troopers and it takes them 45 minutes to get there. So we're hanging out on the side of the road in Ashland, Oregon with some 18 year old kid who's freaking out, was just going to work at Subway. <laughs> Troopers finally get there, they take our statement, they find him at fault, which was a bummer for that kid, but that's actually the truth of what happened. And we get back in the car, and this has been like an hour, hour and a half. We start driving, Andrew and I, and we're just kind of, we're just kind of going, and I'm just like, what the heck just happened? It took us 21 hours to get to Oregon when it should have taken 10, and this crazy day on, uh, you know, on the third, and then on the drive back, we get hit by a guy in Ashland, Oregon. So today, on July 4th, is the one year anniversary of the time that Benjamin hit me with the car. So Benjamin, wherever you are in the world, hope you're doing okay. And that was, that was July 4th, 2015. I was actually planning on calling him today, but I ended up not because I did a bunch of other stuff, but maybe I should text him. That's gonna do it for today. I actually had a really good day today. Family came over, we had like a crock pot, pot roast sort of a deal, which was cool. And like went out to coffee with Winston this morning, which was great. And now Rylan's out with mom, just kind of driving around and, and getting out of the house, which is really nice because she was a handful today. So that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching, I appreciate you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Here's a picture of John Krasinski. If Jim can do it, you can too.